Yo, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Jay, back here with another vid. Hope you all doing well. Blessed, on your purpose, getting to a bag, all that good shit. Um, yeah, as you can read in the title, we had the 19 Keys event last night, um, and it was definitely very high level. He said YouTube, I had to hop on the cam. Yes, sir. How do you give the ability to be able to control the world? Not from an external point, but from an internal point. How do you teach them that the greatest enemy that they have ain't racism, ain't classism, ain't fascism, ain't poverty? No, it's the enemy that exists within. It's the self war, the thought war that you love on a daily basis. So, uh, in this video, I just want to break down, give my review of the event. Um, what he's talked about, who he brought out, what I got from the event. Hopefully you can get some value from it. And you know, if he finished show up in your city and you was questioning, you know, whether you should pull up to the tour or not, um, this video should have you covered. If y'all tapped into Key's content or the high level conversations on YouTube, you know, he had some Q and A style conversations with a few guests. And then he also did like a solo monologue in the beginning. Uh, I probably got the most value from his solo monologue. You know, I think Keys is definitely one of the best orators uh, of our time, you know, especially people that look like me. And that's really what I was hoping to get from the event was to see something like 19 Keys tour, giving game, wisdom um, on a national scale in person. You know, I feel like that's part of history. I feel like, you know, uh, that's some like Malcolm X stuff, what he used to do back in the day, pulling up to different places just to speak. And I feel like he's got that gift. So I take a lot of inspiration from him as a communicator, as an orator, in the way that he's able to convey his ideas and ultimately move people and inspire people to take action in their lives that'll help push things forward and give you the strategies and the principles behind it. You know, not a lot of people are able to combine entertaining communication with inspiration and moving people to take action, but also giving you specific strategies and tactics that you can use present day to move your life forward. So let's dive into some of those. What was the theme of the event? The theme of the event, I got my notes here. These are the notes I took at the event. If you can see it at the top, that says power. It's probably backwards on your screen, but ultimately, theme of the event was self power. You have to be present. You have to ask yourself, why am I here? What am I here to gain? What am I here to learn? How am I going to transform myself? I was taught that the sun exists, right? To shine light and cast on certain areas, but the other star reaches where the sun doesn't. And each one of you all has a certain magnitude of light. I can't reach your family, but you can, right? And so you all have to bring light bringers to the darkness so that we can illuminate the world. That's the power that each person has. So I got another question to ask y'all. When I say how you feeling, I need you to say God. How you feeling? Godly. No, that was a little low. That wasn't godly. How you feeling? Godly. How you feeling? Godly. How you feeling? Our key's intention with the event ultimately is to help people develop the self power within themselves. And the way it was kind of broke down was um, first one I got. This was from his monologue. Is boredom. You know, um, utilize your boredom time as thinking time. So. A lot of people, a lot of times, I actually got this download earlier this week before the event um, that I was, I was watching a video, I was talking about Tiger Woods, Five Rules to Dominate, and he was talking about how, you know, most people aren't avoiding things, avoiding the consistency, avoiding the work because it's painful or it's that hard. It's really just the boredom of consistently doing the right actions over time, but instead we like to mask that boredom time with distractions. You know, we like to be on the phone when we're bored. We like to play video games when we're bored. We like to, you know, watch bullshit on TV or dirty websites when we're bored. You know, a lot of different stuff when we're bored when we could be using that time as thinking time. Because ultimately, thinking is going to be the highest 
paid thing on this planet that we can get paid for, especially moving into artificial intelligence, which we'll get into in a second. But, you know, being able to think critically is such a art and science that most people don't pay attention to and therefore they lack the skill of. So therefore, you know, most people don't get paid much, but you know, your ability to think and use your thinking is ultimately what produces all the results results in your life. So instead of being deliberate with our thinking, um, you know, a lot of times we might even understand that principle conceptually. You might understand that our thoughts produce things, our thoughts are create our reality, but yet we don't intentionally create those thoughts. You know, I just got done doing the meditation before I come down here, so I feel super clear in this video because I intentionally produce the results of why I'm doing this in my head before I started doing it. So therefore there's a certain state and energy by myself, but we're not gonna get into that. You know, I'm gonna stick to what was in the event and you know, boredom promotes thinking. And you know, also you said a little bit later that we lost the art of thinking, which I just kind of touched on, but I think it's so true. You know, a lot of people don't think nowadays, but it's more of the same. So let's move on. Um, family impact, production, inspiration is ultimately what we leave the world. So. This was in terms of looking at materialistic success versus spiritual success. So when we talk about material success, we think of cars, houses, um, money, um, stocks, assets, whatever it may be, crypto. But when we think about true long lasting legacy and generational success, we talk about the status of our family we talk about the impact that we left the earth we talk about the our ability to produce and what products and services came of our came out of our workshop of our mind while we were here um who did we inspire you know what actions did we inspire uh while we were here on this earth you know that's ultimately what we leave the world and what we leave the world is ultimately the most valuable um this goes back to a bible verse to say lay up not for yourself treasures on earth but store up you know, treasures in heaven where moth don't break in and steal. You know, these are things that last forever and the prioritization of things that last forever come from the awareness that you are an infinite spirit, that you are a spirit that never dies rather than flesh who goes back to this earth eventually. And in order to have a great family, impact, production, and inspire the world, we need specific knowledge, skill set, intuition, and sacrifice. Uh, that's not intuition, that's unification. Excuse me. We need knowledge, skill set, unification, and sacrifice. So these are what produce the family and industry and production that we leave, you know, in order to well, once you understand that those things produce the things that really matter, then we have to be strategic about cultivating our knowledge in a way that serves us in our future generations. Strategic about our way of cultivating skill sets that serve us and our future generations, not only to make money, but personal happiness and fulfillment. How can we unify skill sets and gifts together to not only serve us, but our future generations for fulfillment and happiness? Sacrifice, you know, what do we have to give up in order to move forward? You know, in order to change our circumstances, we have to change. And one thing human beings don't like to do a lot is change because we like consistency. We like things to stay the same. You know, things are more secure that way. We, we crave security. This comes from, you know, back when prehistoric era, you know, when we had to survive, you know, it's a survival mechanism. It's one of the needs of the flesh. So, a lot of times we look at things, and this is where sacrifice is an interesting word. We look at things as if it is a sacrifice when it's more so we're just choosing a healthier option. So that's kind of how I look at self-sacrifice is once you expand your awareness to a certain level to understand certain things, the things you once got pleasure from no longer become desirable. So it's no longer a sacrifice. And that comes back to the identity shift but you know, ultimately Keys and his talk, he said sacrifice. And I understand the concept, um, just maybe a healthier word is just he healthier choices. But you know, in the moment, you know, the big thing that what matters is in the moment, it does feel like a sacrifice because we did grow so fond of loving certain 
addictions or lifestyles or attachments to certain people. So losing that 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 pain of loss does still happen. So it does still give you the feeling that you're sacrificing a part of yourself. But through that pain, I think it's good to consciously remind yourself that, hey, I'm just choosing a healthier choice here. Um, in order to develop that strength in your emotional state and mental fortitude to be able to say things like that to yourself in times of stress, you need to cultivate the character. And a couple things he mentioned that cultivate character is integrity, stop lying. He made this a very crucial point, stop lying. You know, lying to ourselves, lying to others, lying to God, lying about our circumstances. You know, we need to get closer and closer to the truth. Truth is the only thing that matters ultimately. Uh, adversity, let's not run from adversity, let's run towards it. And then going along with that, it's rites of passages. You know, these are all things that were um, glorified as of old, but now not as much. You know, in our society today, we look at, we don't look at integrity in a great light. You know, we glorify scammers. We glorify people that get down on people. We don't look at adversity in a good light. We look at hard things as why should I have to do that? Self-entitlement. We don't look at rites of passages like I should do this for the betterment of my future self. You know, we think, why would I go through that pain? You know, it's all tied to instant gratification due to false idols that we worship. It's another story. Um, the last point I got from Key's talk, specifically his monologue, this video is going kind of long. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Um, I got a lot of game from Key's, so I, I feel the need to reciprocate, give it back to my community. So if you're appreciating the video, like it, uh, subscribe for more content like this, like self-improvement, seeking the kingdom, entrepreneurship type content. So if you enjoy that, if you enjoy 19 Keys, you're going to rock with the boy. Um, last point he made, a couple points I have here, but overall the same concept is separate to elevate you know um a lot of us on this journey of self-improvement becoming the best version of ourselves seeking things of higher not lower um ultimately again going back to the previous point of sacrifice we have to leave certain relationships behind we have to leave certain lifestyles behind but in this specific context he was talking about relationships you know sometimes we try to help or change people or impact people or give so much to the people around us in order for them to grow because we see that hey maybe i know some things that you could apply in your life that would lead to a more healthier lifestyle but ultimately what they perceive that as is judgment on their current lifestyle why is it that way maybe they don't have the perspective of awareness of what's healthy or what's not yet you know that's all the journey we're all going through what's healthier not for us but you know the big point he get, he made here was you can't help them if they don't choose to help for themselves you know if they don't say hey i want to change you can't make nobody change no matter how hard you try no matter the techniques you use no matter how good at influencing some people will say yeah all that makes sense and yeah, you make a great point. If I do this, my life will get better. If I keep doing this, my life will stay the same. And honestly, I'm okay with that. And as a person that has a good heart and wants to give and wants to contribute and wants to impact and wants to see everybody living their best life, um, that might hurt you. That might hurt. You know, you might be down on yourself and say, man, if I was more skilled or if I had a better, you know, set of attributes, I could have been in a better position to help this person. But I wasn't. So I think both perspectives are healthy you know that you can always improve and as you improve the more people you'll be able to impact but also understanding that you can't change nobody for the sake you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink and through that pain that you might feel through them circumstances this is the very last point keys i got from keys talking it's been flowing good so man shout out the most high but that pain of those experiences with people with relationships pushes you to progress, pushes you to want to be in a position to attract better relationships. You know, if your friend circle not talking about the stuff that you want to talk about, not on the stuff that you own, why don't you have the friends that are talking about what you own? Maybe there's an area of life that you're lacking that those 
circle of people find valuable that you don't have yet. You know, a lot of times as people become more successful, um, you know, it's about financial success for a lot of people. And they might not want to be around you or cultivate friendships because you're not where they are on a financial level. For others, you know, in this community, this may be more, y'all not equally yoked on a character level. And there is some character development and some integrity and some sticking with your word and some different things that you have to develop in your character in order to attract the people that you want to attract. But, you know, instead of viewing the pain as a victim and why me and why do I have to go through this and I wish things could be different, let's view it as a indicator to change ourselves since we are the ones that want to change, since we are the ones that want to improve, since we are the ones that want to become the best version of ourselves. Let's take that pain immediately, flip it internal, see where the gaps are from where we are to where we want to be and in this circumstance we talk about relationships see where that gap might be what feedback are you getting from the people around you um what feedback are you getting from god and then make the necessary changes and then start to see the fruits of that work manifest in your life because that's how it works moving on hope y'all enjoying the video um they had mr grateful pop up shout out mr grateful um he was someone that when he heard about AI and the drop of chat GPT, he didn't procrastinate. He took the tools, resources, and used them to the highest capabilities. And through that process, had the chance to speak on 19 Key Stage. This was one of many uh, speakers. They had uh, the Acre Boys pull up. They had B. Simone and her uh, podcast guest, Megan, I think her name was. Um, Mr. Grateful, though. This is. I'm just going over where I got the most value. So Keys and Mr. Grateful is probably where I got the most value. But what he talked about with the AI and entrepreneurship, building businesses, where we are currently in 2023, in order to grow your business, if you're watching, if you got something you're trying to push, uh, they talking about community first. You know, um, community first, then try to monetize the community once it's built. Understand what the community needs and then give the community what they need, as opposed to trying to build a product and then creating a community from the product. So I think this is dope, you know. This is ultimately what I'm trying to do here with the brand, with the YouTube. Let's build a community of like-minded individuals. And if there's anything I have valuable that you need or want or find useful to your life, um, let me know. And I can either create that if I don't have it already, we can hop on a conversation. Um, but ultimately, I just want to provide value. Um, but first, you know, we need to create a bond of like-minded ideas and interests. So if you want to, building something right now you know community take that around with it next use ai to enhance your self-awareness so a lot of people are using ai in a business context for tools and efficiency productivity which is great um, ultimately that's going to be pushing things forward but keys talked about using ai to enhance your self-awareness so i like this he uh he talked about how he was asking it i want to work on my shadow self what are some questions I can ask myself that will help me uncover, un, un, uh, discover parts parts of myself that were maybe once hit or, or something like that, which is super crazy and dope and revolutionary to even think of and something that uh, I'm definitely already took heed to. You know, I already did the same prompt with Chat GPT this morning. Went through some of the questions myself, um, but understanding that because he understands that reason why this is a crucial point why I wrote it down. He understands that self-awareness is the game. You know, the more you know about yourself, the more you're better able to create your life in alignment to what you most need and want to feel fulfillment and achieve all the things you want to achieve. You know, without knowing self, you'll be chasing a lot of useless idols, useless things. So understanding that self-awareness is the key to growth, to contribution, to giving, to fulfillment, to happiness, to achievement. Um, you know, using artificial intelligence, which uh, I didn't know this, but Mr. Grateful dropped the bar. Um, basically, Chat GPT 4 is trained on 1.3 billion books worth of information. So, essentially, the analogy he made was imagine asking your friend who's read 1.3 billion books questions. He probably knows some good answers. Um, so asking him questions about how to better understand yourself, um, super revolutionary idea, 
And to tie that together, you know, once you have that artificial intelligence, you have your natural intelligence. Once you're cultivating both your your skill set and using the tools of our AI and your natural intelligence of going back to the first point, critical thinking, complex thinking skills, um, understanding patterns and how to tie different things together, then you have enhanced intelligence. So this is where you can really become a superhero along with the biohacking, along, along with all the other things that we already doing. But this video's 18, 19 minutes. Don't wanna make it too long. Hope that makes sense. Hope y'all got some value from that. Uh, ultimately the review, if he's pulling up to your city, definitely pull up to the show. It was an experience. Like I said, just seeing it all in person, seeing the black people, seeing him up there orating at the highest level was worth the money in itself, Not a, let alone the information I was given. Um, you know, Aristotle Investments pulled up, talked about some different investments uh, that you should make. Some of the stocks he dropped was O Realty, which is a lead. How y'all doing? y'all good? Say what's up to the two. Uh, well, yeah, he dropped the O Realty, Maine, Coke, Exxon. These are all dividend paying stocks and REITs that you can take advantage of right now in the market. Shout out Aristotle Investments. Um, shout out the whole EYL financial literacy community. Shout out you if you're watching and stayed this far. Again, drop videos on self improvement, entrepreneurship, kingdom living, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to do a consultation, whether to grow your business and sales optimization, or you want to do a personal consultation where we can talk about different things that's going on in your life, um, just hit me up on IG, at JVN Hodges, um, and then we can chop it up and, and see how I can help. But other than that, hope y'all enjoyed the bid, and I'll catch y'all next one.